there, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be reviewing a new flower, and here it is. Oh, it's quite heavy, hold on. Oh, it's Caputo Aria. It's like a, it says on it, it's a type zero zero wheat flower with pseudo mother. So that's quite interesting. I think it's made for tree pizzas really. So that's what we're going to make out of this one, a tree pizza. First off, we're going to add 300 grams of this flour and 300 grams of water, a little bit of yeast, and we're going to put it in the fridge for 24 hours. And then tomorrow, we'll make up the rest of the dough, let it rise, and then we'll make a tray pizza. So let's do that. Okay, so this has been in the fridge for 24 hours now. So next, we're going to add another 300 grams of flour. 150 ml of water, which will make this 70% hydrated, and also a pinch of yeast, not too much, just a little pinch. There we go. And uh, we're going to add around 3 grams of salt as well. So, next, we're just going to mix that up, let it rise, and then we'll put it in the oven that Arc XL we're using today to make a pan pizza. So we've showed you how to make the dough with this Caputo Ario flour, which is right here. Obviously it's all taped up, but this isn't a marketing video, this is real life. The reason it's taped <laughs> up is I needed to fit it in the cupboard, and if I put it on its side, all the flour would tipped out. I know, so I had the to stuff you buy, we've got to try and squeeze so in I had somewhere. To, I had to tape it up so I could tip it in its side so it didn't pour everywhere. But this is the flour we're checking out. This is a 70% hydration dough. I obviously showed you the process of how we made this dough. And this is kind of what it looks like now. So we're going to make a tree pizza with this. I'm not sure if there's a bit much dough here actually, but we'll take some away if there is. And Homer says, no! Oh. I'm not even sure. Oh well, yeah, the t-shirt we made. Simpsons and Gosney might get a bit annoyed it is copyright wise, but oh well. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's not for sale at the moment. <laughs> it's just our t-shirt. And it was pretty cool. Right, so I'm just putting some olive oil around this tin. We're going for a nice pizza. I don't know, like I say, I don't even know. I showed you the dough recipe, but I don't know if it's too much dough for this tin, but we'll soon find out when we tip it in. Right, it's quite sticky because it's uh, some scent hydration, but it's fine, it's lovely. So as you can see, it's nice and soft. Soft, look at that. Look how lovely it is. Look at that. Right, so we're just going to stretch this out. It might take us a little while, so I might just have to let it rest for a little while and then we can put it back in again. Okay, this is my huge GI metal spoon. It's maybe a bit bigger than I thought it would be. The reason I bought it is because it's got this flat bottom on it and I thought it would make it easier to spread the sauce which actually it looks like it is easier doesn't it look at that so okay we'll just get that spread all around and then uh, the spoon is massive <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll uh, get the toppings on there we go look at that it's making it easier, I swear it is. I'll just convince myself that it's making it easier, shall I? You were very excited when it turned out. I know, it's quite excited about this big spoon. So there we go. By the way, we've not talked about the oven. It's currently at 395 degrees. I'm just going to put the put the heat on a low heat. Just for a, just for a sec, because it's quite chilly out here while we put the pizza on. Then I'm going to turn the flame off again, because we don't really want a flame on when we're doing these type of pizzas because they take a wee bit longer to cook and it'll just burn the toppings otherwise. So we've got a bit of cheddar here that we're going to spread over the top of this pizza. Uh, I don't mind doing, you can do it up to the edges because it's a, it's a nice uh, thin crust pizza, well tin pizza so it doesn't matter if the cheese sort of spills over the edges a little bit. We've got some four dolati. We've got about 130 grams here or something but obviously that might be a bit much. I just wasn't sure how much I'd need because I've not used this tin that much actually. Uh, but that looks about nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks about right. And uh, I've got some basil as well. But we also need a wooden lid for our mm -hmm. for our dough top. So let's 
right cool. and I've got some basil which we never used at the weekend so we're going to tear it up and bung it on because I love a bit of basil you got to love a bit of basil haven't you so it smells so good especially when you put a little bit of olive oil over the top as well it really brings out the flavour of it a wee bit more a wee bit more and then we can just bung it in the oven probably for about well it normally takes about seven minutes would you say five to seven minutes i think normally we do the we've not done it in the arc yet so no exactly we've not done it in the arc this is a this is a big test another thing is we don't have a table for the arc yet so that's why it's kind of sitting on the flat top at the moment we're sort of still debating what it would be best to put it on yeah so if you've got any I tips fancy new kitchen yeah, you know, a fancy new outdoor kitchen would be nice, but... Anyone wants to donate one? Okay, not everyone <laughs> can afford fancy new kitchens, but if anyone knows of any ideas to upgrade their setup, then let us know. Okay, so the oven's currently at 377 degrees. This tin's okay to about 380, I think. But I, I've got the flame, we're going to put it in the oven now. So I've got the flame up just until Lisa gets round the corner and then she's making me sound really <laughs> no there's just not a lot of room so in it goes look how nice that tin fits in this is going off and then we're going to push it right to the back and then we're just going to leave it for say I reckon about seven minutes but we'll keep checking on it and we'll see how it gets on okay actually this has probably been in for about I'd say 12 minutes. Mm. Uh, we wanted to make sure it's cooked perfectly. It looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? it uh, so, the what I'll say is we're constantly reviewing these ovens, aren't we? What I'll say about the Arc XL, because this is the first time we've done a pan, a pan pizza in it, is that uh, the temperature in it drops really fast. It, it's much faster than what the dome is, it, it, it flies down really, so if you're doing pan pizza in it, you'll probably need to do it for a bit longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest, uh, just for a little while, just to sort of let it settle, and then we'll take it out, we'll cut it and we'll show you what it's like, and we'll give your final verdict on the flour. So, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so look at that, this is... Aria flour, first time we've used it. Uh, the pizza got gorgeous. Can you see the bottom? Oh, that nice. looks very nice. So, okay, obviously, like I say, this has been 12 minutes. I'm not sure if this is the best cutter to use or if I should have used the big one. Let's have a look. Well, it's still worth the 40 quid. Oh, look at that. Actually, looks really nice. Mm. It looks nice and airy in there. It's probably better if you leave it to rest for a little while until it's cooler, but obviously, we haven't wasted it mega, but you can see. The structure in there. I can see once it's cooled down a bit, it'll probably be even better. But actually, it kind of looks better. And you can see it sort of better on that side as well. Look, let's move bits of cheese out there. Looks quite good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so look at that. The structure in that fur is amazing. The base is amazing. Tastes fantastic. Actually, this could be the perfect flour to be making your uh, pan pizzas with. Hold it still. Because uh, it's really nice. Mm. So yeah, Caputo Aria. As I said before, it's soft wheat flour with mother surdo. That's what mother. it says about it. So like, uh, this is a five kilogram bag. It's 11.99. And it's really, really nice. It's just a new flower. It's not been that long out. I, mean, I saw it on Instagram and I thought, oh, I must find that somewhere. So I found it at ADI Maria where we get normal stuff. I made this nice pizza. It's great. So great flower. Give it a recipe a try. You'll like it. It's nice. Uh, you can put a little bit less dough if you want a thinner, crispier one. But uh, this is fine. Tastes great. So yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out the book. See you next time. Bye.